I'm James and I'm going to be showing you round this awesome tour of the best reading spots in this luxuriously uh, compact flat. And we are going to have the best time showing you your dream reading spots that you can purchase now. Ding. Uh, oh, I need a, I need a smoke break already. Why don't I make these life decisions? Here, as we go in, we have these perfectly gilded steps. Just look at that. Mmm, just feel the touch. Just nice and smooth and fluffy. Why wouldn't you want that on your feet as you're walking after a hard day's graft? Here is the first reading spot. And look how, how spacious she is. She's a big girl, she is. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Mm. Oh, there goes that cat hair I had for breakfast. So, this is our first reading spot. Now imagine this. Imagine you get the luxury of lying down like on a therapist chair, but you don't pay for the therapy. Ah. Now just imagine you, you got your favorite grim dark book, you know, all of the trauma None of the therapy. Your favourite animal character has been gruesomely stabbed. And you can just let the tears flow. And you've got this special sort of chaise lounge kind of thing that your tears can run off if you're reading a Thomas Howard Riley book. Uh, and this, oh, you can just lie back. And like I say, get all the trauma. None of the therapy, but you get the lovely hard chair. So, why wouldn't you want that? Apps like banger of a spot. Boosh! This next spot here, this spot is my favourite spot because it's a, it's a reading spot with a slightly frosted view. That's right, frosted glass. Why wouldn't you want a view that doesn't actually have a view? Now, this is for those of you that like airline uh, seats. It's very compact like that. You got, you got, you you got a wiggle a little bit, a little bit of wiggling, jiggling, all right, all right, all right. And uh, there, we, there, there we go. Now just imagine you just you, you might have to hold on, squ squeeze in there, right. Now, look just how comfy this is. Yeah. Now, imagine reading your favourite, I don't know, romance. I, I don't read that stuff, but uh, imagine reading your, your cosy little romance here. And you can just have your heart flutter away uh, while you stare longingly into the neighbour's flat. I, I, I actually, may, maybe don't do that, because... You know, you might uh, get a caution. So, yeah. Next spot. Oh, cool, blimey. This next spot. Oh, it's, she's a good and she's a classic. Nah. Look at that. Perfectly rimmed just for your little body to fit right in. This spot. This is what I like to call the TARDIS. Nah. I don't watch none of that Doctor Who geeky nonsense, but I do know there's a thing called a TARDIS. And that's why I like to call this a TARDIS, because you sit on here, right, you, you, you come in in the morning, you come in for your morning poo, you sit on here, and next thing you know it's 11am, and the time is just gone because you got your Kindle, you, you're reading the, the latest uh, Game of Thrones, but wherever you young kids read nowadays and uh, in the time is it's, it just disappears it's li literally it's magical now who doesn't want a magical reading spot now this 
this is the spot where after a long day's work you just come in and you're like ah and you slide down and you keep on sliding it's like one of them extendable you know like you get those seats that you lie back in and it extends as you extend well this is like the human version of that and this is the perfect little spot for when you're tired and you sit down you have a little glass beside you and uh, you sit down you read and then you're in everyone else's way but you know if you live alone uh, perfect little spot except uh, it, the only thing is sometimes you have to be careful it, it, it can be a bit of a booby trap <laughs> booby uh, <clears throat> uh, yes because if you leave your drink down here and then you come in in the night and then you get shards of glass in your feet it's uh, yeah yeah, it's a difficult one to explain to the hospital. So uh, be careful if you like danger. If you're if you're a danger man or woman, because uh, women can be dangerous nowadays. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, come find this cosy little spot here. And I've I've just got one little treat for you. One last little treat. This is my least favourite spot, but this is for those of you that, um, you know, you don't have much time, you don't, you don't have much space. You can just squeeze in around the side here, and uh, if you if you fall asleep, you've got the wall right there. You can just lay your head there, hold your Kindle, and you know, you've got a nice little f picture of up there. So. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour and you found some amazing reading spots. Bish bash bosh. Uh, contact Thomas, no, James, James, uh, to buy these nice little reading spots. Alright, that's a wrap, Dawn. No, get, get me my uh, sausage rolls, yeah? Alright, th thanks, Dawn. Alright, time for a fag.